I'm tall man. <laughs> you can pick on him. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hi. Hey, Hope everybody's doing well. Yeah. yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing well, doing well. Getting getting a chance to enjoy the good weather. Getting a lot yeah, of work good. Outside. Good. Yeah. Okay, we are we are up live right now. It's 558 according to my clock. So if you just want to do like a round of introductions or something like that, it will be appropriate. Um, I'll start. I'm, I'm Tom Wright. I'm chairman of the Board of Selectmen here in Berwick. Is uh, welcome tonight. Is uh, we're joining uh, Great Falls Construction, and uh, to talk about the project here in the town of Berwick at the former Prime Tanning site. Great, thanks, Tom. Uh, my name is Julie Smith, and I work for Great Falls Construction. I work in the business development. I'm also closely involved in the Berwick project. So thanks for tuning in. I will say if you're uh, interested in asking any questions or have any comments you'd like to share with us, I believe at the bottom of your screen, you should see my email and telephone number scrolling, um, but I'll just say it really quick in case not. So my email is jasmith at greatfallsinc.com and my telephone number is 207-839-2744. So feel free to give us a call anytime during this uh, broadcast. To, to ask questions or give us comments and then I'll share them live um, over this Zoom call. So thanks. Hi there, I'm Cindy Smith and I'm Vice President of Great Falls Construction. And here's, go ahead, you wanna introduce yourself? <laughs> yeah, hi, so I'm, this is John Smith with Great Falls Construction. And um, here, to, who else, do we have anyone else on the phone that needs to introduce? No? Well, I think that's it. So should I kick it right off, Julie, or? Yeah, you go right ahead, John. Okay, thanks, Tom. Well, um, th I don't know how many, do we have, we have some people online tonight, Tom, or do we know? Uh, I don't know of anybody yet. Is, um, I haven't heard anything from anybody, so yeah. is, I, I was expecting Steve to be on the call tonight, but I haven't seen him yet. Yeah, well, It's maybe. just six o'clock now, so. Oh yeah, maybe they'll join or maybe they're doing something better and they'll just watch the recording. <laughs> it's a beautiful afternoon. Can't, can't blame them for that, that's for sure. <laughs> I know so, folks are watching it live, they're streaming it. So that, that might be how folks are watching, I know. Um, some are, Julie, you said. Yes, they're watching it, uh, not in the Zoom call, but uh, streaming it, so. Yeah, okay, good. So I wanna reiterate, actually, um, if you have questions, to please uh, send them to Julie. I think there might, you know, maybe there's a little bit of a delay. So the sooner the better on getting questions to Julie because our update, this is just a, a sort of a built-in update meeting to discuss some of the things that we've been working on. And some of these will have uh, significant content and others will just be relatively light in content. And I think we've got a couple of interesting things to share today, but I'm going to kick it off just kind of under an old business item to talk about site development and where we're at. Um, so Surveyor Technics has been working on the, the site plan. Uh, we, we've been working with them. And I think we're on our, at this point, I think we're on our third iteration of the site plan. Uh, it's still very much in draft format to the point where it's really not ready to share. There's just too much that needs to be sort of massaged and tweaked to, um, to even put it up for, for comments and further discussion at this point. But um, it, I think it's an important um, point that we are on our third iteration, they are working on it. And I do want to reiterate, I think we mentioned this at the last update meeting, but um, obviously there's lots of challenges right now. Everybody is dealing with lots of challenges related to the coronavirus. And um, we, you know, we are still moving forward on this project. I think that's one of the most important um, comments that we want to get out tonight. We're still moving forward with the design. It does take time to do a thoughtful design, and that is what we're working on at this point. So um, uh, hold on a minute, please, John. We've we've got feedback coming from somewhere. Do you 
Do you have something going in your office? I don't know. No. Uh, I don't think so. We just have one laptop going and we are broadcasting it up on to. All right. We can, we can mute ourselves and see if that fixes it just for a second. Try again. Let's see. Okay. All right. Go ahead. I apologize. I'm not sure what was going on in the background. Go ahead and continue then, John. Yeah, well, the uh, timing for that was perfect because I was pretty well set with my update on the, on the site plan. Um, so uh, yeah, that's, that's really all there is to talk about on the site plan. Um, hmm. Are we good? Yeah, we can still see you and hear you. Oh, okay, that's strange. Sorry. So I would actually, I'd like to just sort of stop there and see if anybody has any questions related to any of those comments before we move forward. Well, I'll, I'll just add, I, I, I know that you've been talking with uh, the town plan of James and, and uh, you've, you've, you've been down here, you know, talking, you know, trying to coordinate what the town is looking to do also is, um, and, I'll just add that we are looking at actively looking for grant money that we can use to uh, um, improve the infrastructure surrounding your development, you know, to tie in with it. So hopefully that we can uh, get some money this in the next year or so to, you know, work together to make this a unified, you no know, plan. Yeah, that would be great. That would really expand the, the improvements in the area significantly. You know, it's a great time to do it when everything else is is happening there. So that'll be great. Excellent. Um, the other thing that we are working on, I, I don't, Julie, uh, I mean, we're, the, the, the duplex property that's there, will you get an update on that, Julie, or you want me to? Sure, I can, I can uh, give a quick update. So the, uh, the duplex property is located at 27 School Street and we, you might see some uh, Great Falls trucks down there, or maybe you already have. Um, we are gonna start cleaning up the landscaping there, uh, which is long overdue, and, um, and take um, some folks through that can repair the roof and start um, actually fixing it up to be a duplex. We've decided that that's the, that's the, the best use of that building um, is to remain a residential building. And so, um, it'll be a duplex. And so you'll start seeing people down there uh, working on that pretty soon. Yes, I, I know is I've had you know, a couple of people comment that they've seen you know, the, the action around that, that building. So that's a hopeful sign. So thank you for that. Yes, Good. exciting for us too. Yeah, it is exciting, very exciting. Um, what else do you have for us, John and Cindy? Well, I, you know, that's really under sort of old business. That's all I've got. I think Cindy has some information that she would like to share. So I'll turn it over to Cindy. So after uh, many weeks of uh, pondering and wondering about the project name for a very unique uh, piece of property in Berwick, I, I finally, um, let's see, I finally cannot get one of the names out of my head. And I, I researched it and I reached out to a main artist that, I, that we know, his name is Tyler Eldridge. And we began the process of what is branding, um, what our branding should look like and feel like. And these are a few words actually, because I asked Tyler, because he goes through a process, he's, he's an artist and sometimes I like to pretend I am, but um, he's truly the artist. So in this for him, I, I just wanted to say a few words that he had, um, you know, he had written down about the process that we had together in making this name. So the logo or the branding for this was built from the DNA of the town's history and research with a new light and optimism to carry it forward into the future. The typography is inspired by the prime type that was painted on the factory smokestack. I'm sure you guys all remember that, but it has been customized and rounded out to feel more welcoming and friendly. A combination of scripted type with a vintage serif type of the E is playful and contemporary, embracing the youthful and artistic community of Berwick. 
The color palette pays homage to the green of Prime Tannery in the Green and Berwick's own town website. It is a combination of green and sunset yellow that speaks to environmental conservation and adventuring into the unknown. So our ultimate goal was to create something um, that feels like it belongs, like it has been a part of the town for years. It needed to be a con conscious of the history behind this great town and all the hard work its ancestors have done to make it exceptional. But most of all, it needed to be inspiring towards the future, to be a symbol of new beginnings and a space where the community can come together. We are confident that it will achieve all of this. So further ado, I'm going to show you what it is. So John and I will spread apart a bit so we can, you can see it. So welcome to the edge at Berwick. Let's see. It looks like it's backwards on the screen, doesn't it? It comes out right. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> and there it is. There it is. And that's what it looks like. So hopefully you guys um, all see the hard work that we put in and the thought. And um, so downtown, the edge of Burr, Maine is what I want to present to you tonight. And I hope it brings many, many years for all the residents there and all the visitors, you know, a, a lot of uh, fun and excitement and just a great place to be. So. It, it, it looks great to me. You know, I'm, I'm no artist. I'll admit that right up front. So is, uh, I, I applaud anybody that can uh, do any kind of design work. But is, uh, is, uh, I, I, I like the colors. Is, uh, I, think, I think it'll uh, do well down here. Yeah, good. And the edge has so many different, you know, meanings. I kept going back and forth with that word because you guys are in such a unique spot in the state of Maine. Your, your borders, you know, where some was worth the town, but also your border in New Hampshire. And the great, you know, the, the river there, it's in, in, it just, um, Salmon Falls River. And there's just so many borders and edges to your town, which make it so interesting to come visit. And there's so many things to do because of that. So um, that's why we kind of, I kind of kept wrapping my head around the edge. So that's not really what I've got, so. Yeah, so I want to, actually, I want to chime in because um, I, I think, you know, most people, when you hear a name, um, you, know, you know, in some cases, it's like, oh, well, that, that sounds good. That's, all right, geez, I don't like that. You know, people have their opinions around it. Um, but every time we do a project, one of the first steps is to try and figure out the name, you know, get a project name that we can sort of begin to brand uh, around. And um, now, and I got to tell you, you know, Cindy puts a lot of time and effort into this and, and I believe me I'm, I'm sitting there most of the time so <laughs> I say amen that we finally got a name and that we've uh, published a, a logo um, and I think it's um, it's something that we'll continue to build around you'll hear it more and more hopefully it's it's uh, well received by by most I'm sure some will be scratching their heads saying what are you guys thinking but we're hoping that the majority of people um, uh, can can see it Actually, I, I also one of the things that we always look for in a name like that is something that's maybe a little bit a little bit off in the first place. You know, it doesn't sound quite perfect. We sort of want it that way because you want to be able to build a brand around it so that in due time, after we've done some work and done some good projects down there, you can just say the edge and people know what you're talking about. That's what gives you the ability to build a brand around it. So I, um, I yeah, I think Cindy's done a great job putting this together and this is kind of a kickoff and a starting point for what we will, um, you know, for the project that we work on for quite some time. Mm -hmm. So that really is, uh, I don't know if Julie, did you have more? Yeah, I just wanted to add that um, I, at the last update, I said I would make a um, Facebook page and that's still happening. We're waiting for this branding to come through. So um, I will be posting that and hopefully um, the community can, can push it out so folks can really, um, Get involved and start discussions on on things like the memorial um, park that we intend to have on the site and, and other things as well. So um, so that look for that. Um, I'm sorry it's taken a little bit of time, but it'll definitely be up there soon. Um, and I'll, I'll try and share it as best I can. But I'd appreciate you sharing it as well. I, unless there's any other updates, um, I have a few questions that have come through over email. So. I will go into them. <laughs> the first one is, when do you anticipate having the public iteration of the site plan ready? So anything else on that one, Julie, or 
No, that's, that's yeah, so I'll, I'll take that. Um, I I really don't know. Unfortunately, I don't have a good answer to that. Um, I I you know, and I know I've said from the get go we're working on um, sort of working diligently on it. I think that um, you know, had it not been for coronavirus, we may have been further along with it. But I'm not quite sure if we would have that version ready. And I think I want to make sure I clarify this when I say I mean we're not you know, we are going to be accepting plenty of public comment and, and you know, have a lot of discussion around the plan that we finally um, get uh, to, to present. Um, but some of the basic things like the flow of traffic on, um, on the site, pedestrian traffic and vehicular traffic, um, areas that we want to identify as possibly um, sort of smaller spaces, maybe for more of a artisan type use. We want to have a lot of that stuff baked into our, our iteration that we put out there, whether it's, you know, might be one or two if we, if we can't get it nailed down. Um, but we just, it, it takes a lot of time right now because we can't meet personally with, um, with the engineers. We're back and forth to Zoom meetings and um, things just take a little more time. So. I, I wouldn't, uh, I'm certainly, you know, I don't know. Um, I, I still think we're, you know, at least, I'm gonna, if I had a guess, I'd say a month or two away from being able to put out even a draft. That, that would be my best guess on it. But I'm really, I wanna be stopped short of making any commitments because this time, although it doesn't look like anything's happening, it's really important time. It is, we're designing, we're, we're sort of, you know, when we, get these plans, we have to review it, you have to sort of mull it over a little bit just to process all of the different um, priorities that come up in a site plan. So at one to two months, I guess would be my short answer. Good, and then the other, uh, this, probably, this probably is nicely, um, is there any more in, oh, I'm sorry, uh, any ideas on when the plan will be ready for a planning board? I think that it goes without saying that it will be after we share it with the community. A little right. Bit. Yeah. The process. I mean, once we once we do get a, a plan ready for the, the public to look at and to toss around and and you know give their input on, um, I think it's you know it will really depend on the outcome of our initial meetings. If we if we put it out there and you know by some miracle everybody loves it just the way it is then you know the engineers could sort of go to town and start refining it and get applications in um if you know if we miss the mark on a bunch of things and we feel like we're going to go back and forth you know that could be a, a process that takes uh, you know a couple of months let's say um, but it's really i think once we have a site plan that we feel comfortable with and that we feel comfortable that a lot of the people that have looked at it and waited on it are comfortable with that's when we'll start the process of getting it, um, you know, moved through the, the planning board. Great. Um, another question is, is there any more insight on demolition of the buildings? What's likely staying or going? I guess I'll take that one too. So, um, Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no more insight. We would, you know, we're looking at options. Options include, um, taken down some of the buildings that are remaining. I think, you know, taking all of them down would be, um, you know, I, on one hand would be great, but it's just a feasibility thing that we're looking at. And, um, and I don't know, um, that it just doesn't seem feasible to take them all down right now. Um, but we are looking at some of them coming down uh, and, you know, and um, sort of deciding at a later date, how we'll program anything that is left as far as buildings go. So I know, you know, one, our current plan contemplates, contemplates, excuse me, taking down the, what is it, 8,000 square foot building, Julie, which I think was the office, was an office. Yes, yeah. Contemplates the smaller building. Building of that building. Um, and so that's, Certainly, one that's as as our current plan sits, that building goes away. Um, the other two that are remaining, uh, well, actually, yeah, and the, I guess the long wing of um, 
of the bigger structure goes away as well, right? right? Yeah, correct. Yeah, so, so the two, you know, kind of two ish buildings that go away um, under the current plan. Like I said, we're, we are a ways away from, from finalizing the current plan, but that's a little insight as to where we're at. Great. Um, another question that came in is, what are some upcoming milestones for the project? So I think we already discussed the, um, the site plan being ready for public um, coming up soon here, but any other ones that you want to add into that? No, I think we, you know, we actually hit one today by just getting the branding and the name and stuff established. And there's been some legal work behind that to get that prepared as well. So that's been a fair amount of effort. Um, and uh, so that's that's a milestone. The, um, the the site plan itself coming up is the, that's the next milestone that we're looking for. Um, and that will be the, the draft or two or three that we present and then the process by which we go through to, um, you know, to sort of uh, talk with and engage with people that are concerned about it and are interested in it and have comments on it. So that really will be the next thing. Once we, you know, it's kind of the, still the creative phase of the project. And once we get the site plan set, we, you know, we need to look um, at the architectural side of it, which will be, you know, the vertical buildings that go up and see what those look like. But we can we can um, continue with the engineering process, you know. Certainly, begin with applications, begin the planning process when we have that site plan refined. So that's all efforts really are on that moving forward here. Great, thanks. Another question is: How are discussions coming along with interested occupants for the site? So uh, I can kick that one off by saying. Good. <laughs> We've heard some from some great people um, about their interest in, in the site. And so we've been keeping in touch and, um, you know, it's still really early. Like, um, like dad was just saying, it's still early in the process. And so um, there's definitely some folks interested in, in following the process and we'll, we'll surely be uh, more involved as, as plans continue to take shape. So, um, but, but interested folks, um, run the gamut from, um, you know, from, from all different types of um, businesses. So it's really excited to, you know, it's really exciting to see that and to see um, the, the diverse and interest and, um, and at, on the site. So, so that's kind of all I have there. I don't know if you guys have anything to add to that. I would only add, you know, that um, we, Julie has spoken specifically with some tenants and had good conversations with some people that want to be on site. Um, but, you know, some of the things that really make this work, we know, for instance, is, you know, we, we definitely um, are, are planning for a good solid coffee offering on site with the with drive through capabilities. Uh, as, and, and also a financial institution on site with drive through capabilities. And, those are sort of big design items to, to get the site set up for these um, types of uses. And, you know, the queue lines, the appropriate queue lines and things like that are really important. So we haven't, uh, we've had some, I guess I would say random phone calls to, to different um, offerings in that regard, but it will be time coming up to talk further once, certainly once we get the design figured out with um, the coffee, particular coffee provider, as well as uh, financial institution, two major tenants we feel will be important um, on the front corner of that property with some visibility. And uh, there are plenty of others, whether it be daycare or, um, I know there's, there's a bunch of, what was that? Gyms and things like oh, that. Oh, yeah, things like that, that we'll um, have, we've had discussions with, and. We'll just see how the space begins to present. Uh, one of the things that we've talked a little bit about is really trying to have some, um, you know, space for artists, creators, makers, whatever, how you want to call it for space to have some, maybe a little bit of shop space slash sales space. So we're trying to, you know, sort of bake that into the design and figure out the best space for that. So that's the level that we've been sort of working with tenants on, um, not quite to the level where we can really nail it down with a particular tenant. But I would also finish it up with, 
please continue to call if anyone has an interest as this you know kind of develops legs and, and gets uh, more and more uh, closer to reality anyone that is seriously interested I definitely encourage you to reach out to julia or myself or cindy mm. great great thanks this uh this question's for for you mom uh do you have any plans to make stickers or t-shirts with the branding on them i do and I'm hoping soon. <laughs> yeah, we will brand it in on shirts. And, and um, I know that um, there's a particular town planner that said something he would love to have a hat with that on it. So that might even happen too. So great. Thanks. Um, another question came in about um, we had posted on Facebook that we were accepting applications for employment uh, at Great Falls for the project. So the question is, will these employees start working soon and what will they be doing at, um, oh, at this time? Mm -hmm. So, yes, we actually have hired, I think we've hired one in particular at this point. We have him on another job right now until it's time to, um, to get busy down in Bowick. But, you know, initially, we, Julie talked about the duplex. You know, initially, we were trying to sort of understand um, the just sort of the highest and best use of that part of the property to see if it had any um you know anything to do or any relationship with the balance of the property once we realized that it really it seemed to make sense to just bring it back to life as a duplex um, we've got lots of work to do down there on that so we wanted to have some people um, that were available to be helping out with that cleanup work and things like that uh, and then when we get on to the site itself, there's still some stuff inside the buildings um, that need cleanup work. And if those any buildings that are coming down, we're still not sure. We'll kind of play a bayer to see if we're going to be doing that ourselves or if we're going to have a site contractor come in and do that. It's just we're just not really sure. But the work involved will be a lot of cleanup work in the existing buildings um, and especially uh, on the duplex starting out as we as we get down there. That's what the work is initially. Great. That's all I have um, or I've received so far. I'm not sure if we want to give people a couple more minutes to reach out. Okay. Yeah, I, I just I just want to jump in here and, and uh, you know say that is uh, is having gone through the branding process for the town of Berwick with the Envision Berwick. You know, committee that took us a, a whole year and a lot of controversy. So I understand what you went through with uh, you know coming up with your design. Um, but um, it, but you know the people in town are, are really starting to you know they they've noticed that there are people on site. You know they've been you know like as I said you know I've, I've talked to people, seen people over by the duplex. So the people are beginning to see that something is starting to happen. So that's always a good thing. Yeah. So. Good. Yeah, we, we remain excited. To, we do, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, one, one thing we didn't, well, as we're waiting for any more questions to come in, I mean, we did have a meeting with um, Kaderi Associates yes. and um, with Rick and Rip, and we uh, talked about some of, the, some of the environmental financing options that we're looking at. So some of that stuff is in play as well. We're, we're looking at that to figure out what seems to make sense. So there's just, you know, as I said, there are a lot of balls in the air on it right now and it will come together. I know sometimes it seems like it takes a lot of time, but, um, but it's a big project and it really warrants, uh, you know, thorough thoughtfulness. Yeah, thoughtfulness around it. And um, I know that those are empty words for people that have been waiting 15 years, right. um, but it, for us, it's been a little bit shorter time frame. So we appreciate the patience on it and uh, really can't wait to get building something down there. Yeah. Great. I think uh, that's it for questions. Okay. Good. Do we have our next uh, uh, meeting set up yet for a regular check-in meeting, Julie? Yes, we're hoping it can be in person, but it will be, let me just pull it up. It's in August. It will be, and it's posted on our Facebook. Um, give me one second. The um, so it'll be August 12th, so that's a Wednesday, August 12th at 10 a.m. So that's 
the, the morning one, I'm trying to alternate between morning and evening. So the next one will be Wednesday, August 12th at 10 a.m. And hopefully that'll be in person, but uh, right now I think we're planning on um, just kind of waiting a little bit to see what happens, but um, I guess we'll see. Yeah. So one of the, if I could leave just one closing thought, anyone that's out there listening, if you do have a follow-up question, feel free to reach out anytime. I think our, our information is certainly out there and um, you, know, you can just find us at Great Falls. Uh, and so if a you know, random question pops up two or three days from now, or you got one that you meant to ask, just reach out anytime. Be happy to talk about it and answer questions. Or Thanks. a comment of anything, any comments or anything, we appreciate it. Yeah. Well, thank you guys. Thank you, Cindy and Julie and John. Is um, it's, it's been great working with you. It really has, and uh, I know people in town here are really looking forward to uh, seeing what you have to show us. It's only just begun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Evan. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Terry. Yeah. Thank you so much. Good. Thanks, Take everyone. Care. Okay. We'll see you.